This is Countryside News Channel, your official online and cable news channel, giving you the latest information from the province of Llano del Norte, Countryside News Channel. CS News Channel, News, 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 Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, my apologies. Uh, it's 6.21 and I have to break my fast. Um, first and foremost, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak to each and everybody here today. And I would like to thank and acknowledge uh, our chairman of the Joint Committee and the different chairmen of the Joint Committee for their hard work in shepherding the Bank Samoro Basic Law from its initial filing here in the 17th Congress to its approval in the Joint Committee and finally its birth here in the plenary upon second reading. But having said that, I'd like to put on record, Mr. Speaker, us in Lanao del Norte, before there is peace, there has to be war. And in Lanao del Norte, that's exactly what happened to us. The MILF attacked us in Arab's all-out war. It started in the province of Lanao del Norte. Over land conflict, Muslims and Christians fighting with one another. Yung mga Christian, tumakbo sila sa pulis. Yung MILF, yung mga Muslim, tumakbo sila sa MILF. And they went to that one piece of property and ended up facing one another. There you go. Arab's all-out war. Thousands of families were evacuated in Lanao del Norte. Even my own mother and father were there. Ground zero. Preventing the armed forces of the Philippines from dropping artillery shells like they did in Marawi City in our poblacion of Kauswagan. That's our experience of war in Lanao del Norte. Five years later, the MILF more or less had a spot with the municipal mayor in the municipality of Maigo. Anong ginawa nila? They came down from Munay. They stopped all the commuter, commuter jeeps and buses, unloaded civilians, and executed them from the back of their heads. Pati isang mama, mother, at saka yung anak niya, little boy, was executed. 2007, Mua A.D., I was serving as the governor of Lanao del Norte. Among all of the governors here in the Philippines, I was the only Muslim governor that was supporting the peace agreement, supporting MOA AD. Pero anong ginawa ng MILF? They came down from Munay, from Lanao del Sur, converged in Munay and Tangkal, and attacked the municipalities of Kauswagan and Kulambugan. In, Kaus in Kulambugan, I saw, and I had to wrap with newspaper, a small little girl, not even eight years old, because an MILF combatant emptied out a full clip of an M16 on her body. Hinati na yung isang bata na yan, little girl. Why? Because her father is a barangay tanod, and he defended his barangay, and he killed several MILF rebels that were trying to attack the municipality of Kaus Kulambugan. That is the face of war. In the other side of Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, all of these people harassing, killing my Christian constituents in the province of Lanao del Norte, they call them Mujahideens, freedom fighters. Again, that is the face of war. So I'm standing here today just to put it on record that if anybody is here to benefit from the Bank Samoro Basic Law, the first and foremost will be us in the province of Lanao del Norte. If the Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will grant us a path of peace, no man can stop the movement of peace for our region. We are not like the Moros who claim social injustice and continue fighting for social injustice. Kami sa Laluigan ng Lano del Norte, we look forward. If there's a path for peace, path for peace, then let's take it. 
But what's the cost for peace? That's the big question that we must address here, and I'd like to put it on record. First and foremost, in Lanao del Norte, and I have to do this uh, for, to my good friend, <laughs> our chairman of the Joint Committee, as the former governor of Lanao del Norte, and now as the first district congressman, I have to defend my province, naturally. So I'd like to ask about my six municipalities. Now, I'd like to thank again the good chairman of the Joint Committee. Because when we started the Joint Committee, ang original schedule is just like the 16th Congress. Now, why plano to go to the province of Lanao del Norte, even though we are the ones directly affected? In the 16th Congress, hanggang kagayang de oro lang sila when it comes to the public hearing. But because of the 17th Congress, at least the representatives of this House now heard the position of the province of Lanao del Norte, Sabuanga del Sur, Osami City, and Pagadian City. So I'd like to the, ask the good sponsor. In that public hearing, four out of the six municipalities submitted local resolutions asking that they be not incorporated in the Bank Samoro. What is the status of their resolutions? Will they even be entertained, Mr. Speaker? May I have the answer of the good sponsor? Mr. Speaker, all the uh, petitions or communications that were sent to the uh, Joint Committee were entertained, Mr. Speaker. Will there... We, we were, they were discussed in the uh, subcommittee meetings, but unfortunately, the good uh, representative from Lano del Norte knows that we were ready to entertain amendments during our committee hearings, joint committee hearings, but during the uh, votation, Mr. Speaker, it was adopted by the two committees that the uh, original version or the version of House Bill Number 6475 be adopted without amendment. He knows that, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, I'm not trying to debate or contradict uh, our joint chairman, uh, joint committee chairman on the Bank Samoro Basic Law. But my purpose here is, again, to put everything on record. And yes, that's true. We worked very hard for so many months in the joint committee studying the constitutionality, the problems, local and national problems of the Bank Samoro Basic Law. We went to so many different towns, including the province of Lanao del Norte, and heard the different positions of the people in the locality. But in one sweeping motion, all of that hard work was thrown in the garbage bin. Amen. <laughs> I simply wanted to put that in record uh, because that really is what happened. And uh, who am I to question the will of the majority here in the 17th Congress. At least, nandiyan sa record na nagtrabaho kami and we did what we can for our local constituents. Ngayon, I'd like to put also on record, Mr. Speaker, if I read the definition of a core territory, Section 2B, and this is for Lanao del Norte, it reads as follows, the municipalities of Balui, Munay, Munungan, Pantar, Tagaluan, and Tangkal in the province of Lanao del Norte and all other barangays in the municipality of Kabatakan, Carmen, Aliosian, Pigkawayan, Pikit, and Midsayap that voted for the inclusion in the autonomous region of Muslim, Muslim Mindanao during the 2001 plebiscite. These are the identified municipalities and barangays that will be, by legislation, put as the, defined as the core territory of the Bank Samoro. Am I correct in saying that, Mr. Speaker? Yes, Mr. Speaker. That is the uh, proposed uh, bill, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. And I'd like to put emphasis, Mr. Speaker, in the last sentence, the last words on, on this, uh, this uh, provision voted for the inclusion in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao during the 2001 plebiscite. 
may I ask the good sponsor to put on record what happened in our joint committee when we asked the BTC and also got written the COMELEC if they have official records of the 2001 plebiscite to confirm if they really did uh, win in those municipalities and barangay and maybe also for us to study on what is the margin between those that voted yes and those that voted no in terms uh, against the autonomous region of Muslim women now. Uh, may I get from the good speaker, at least let's put it on record, and yung findings natin sa joint committee. Mr. Speaker, I'm not, I cannot uh, accept that or I cannot deny because according to the COMELEC, the records of that plebiscite was burned down. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, there is no official records that can be used in court that says that these municipalities and barangays have won or voted for the ARMM in the 2001 plebiscite. So should anybody want to contest that, by all means, once we pass the BBL, feel free to file in court and let the courts decide the interpretation of that specific provision in our Bank Samoro Basic Law. Now, I'd like to ask another question for clarification and also to put it on record, Mr. Speaker. We had a very good interaction with uh, research speakers in terms of constitutionality. One of them was Justice Mendoza. And he argued about the legisl legislating court territories. And he questioned, why should Congress already define by form of legislation the territories that go inside the Bank Samoro? Shouldn't it be the people that decides the core territory of the Bank Samoro? Am I wrong in saying that, Mr. Speaker? I'd just like to clear this out and place it on record. May I hear from our good sponsor? Mr. Speaker, the arm or Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao is already a political unit established and uh, ratified by Congress, Mr. Speaker. And in that law, the uh, territory has already been specified, including the six municipalities in Lano del Norte and the 39 barangays of North Cotabato. And since this is the same territory that will be given to uh, the Bangsamoro Regional Government, and so that's the reason why these six municipalities and 39, province, 39 barangays were also included in the uh, court territory. So, so, Mr. Speaker, if I'm understanding the good sponsor properly, that is the decision of the 17th Congress. Bahala na ang mga tao! Bahala na if they will vote yes or no to be incorporated in the court territory of the Bank Samoro. We, the 17th Congress, will legislate it and define it that pasok na kayo sa Bank Samoro. I just want to place that on record, Mr. Chair. Am I correct in my understanding of your answer? Mr. Chair, can I get that from the good uh, chairman? Mr. Speaker, we do not force any issue here, Mr. Speaker. I just would like to clarify that in the joint committee hearing, we deliberate, we approve, and we have to respect the decision of the majority, Mr. Speaker. No, I understand, but that's the, Mr. Speaker, I'm trying to put on record the decision of the majority and simple confirmation, the decision of the majority is to define the core territory of the Bank Samoro irregardless of the will of the people that are living in those territories. Sana lang they will vote whether or not they will be part of the core territory. Instead of us here in Congress, merely by stroke of a pen, legislating na pasok na kayo dyan sa Bank Samoro and uh, there's very little that you can do. I just want to put this on record again and just clarify things. If I'm not wrong, I can move on to the next, uh, next question, Mr. Speaker. So, I'm assuming that I'm not wrong, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to ask now regarding the plebiscite. Um, Mr. Speaker, if, uh, he needs an answer. Mr. Speaker, I cannot speak for in, for in behalf of those members who voted in favor to include these uh, six municipalities and 39 barangays and the core territory of the uh, proposed Masamor Regional Government, Mr. Speaker. As, a, as the uh, chairperson 
of the Joint Committee, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I just have to, uh, we just have to uh, respect the decision of the majority. I'll accept that, Mr. Speaker. Again, the definition of the core territory of the Bank Samoro, legislated, not voted upon by the people, is a decision of the majority here in Congress. I'd like to move on, Mr. Speaker, and ask questions about Article 15, the plebiscite. Now, uh, in Article 15, the plebiscite, again, my issue is, sinama nila kami sa laluigan ng Lanao del Norte. I go around my province from the start of the Duterte administration, and as early as that, I keep telling the people, isuporta natin ang Pang Samoro Basic Law. We will rally the province of Lanao del Norte to support the Pang Samoro Basic Law. Basta lang hindi kasama kami sa Bang Samoro. That's what I keep saying. And that was, in general, my theme of being a congressman here. Sana lang itanggal natin yung six municipalities ng Lanao del Norte. But, unfortunately, I have failed and the will of the majority has overrided my local preference that the six municipalities of Lanao del Norte not be included. And I'd like to ask the good uh, chairman for clarification again, so we can put this on record. Our concern and my understanding in why the six municipalities were not included when the armed plebiscite was, uh, was uh, conducted is because of a constitutional issue. When arm was thrown to a plebiscite, it was only provinces and cities that had to vote as a whole. Municipalities were not allowed to vote alone to join the ARMM. And I believe the reason for that is because of the wisdom of that Congress looked into our Constitution. And under Article 15, sorry, Article 10 of our Constitution, Section 18, the second paragraph reads, The creation of the autonomous region shall be effective when approved by the majority of the votes cast by the constituent units in a plebiscite called for the purpose provided that only Provinces, cities, and geographical areas voting favorably in such plebiscite shall be included in the autonomous region. Now, that is what our Constitution says. Now, I'd like to ask our good sponsor, because after we pass this Bank Samoro Basic Law, if, we feel, if our House uh, chooses to be deaf to what the Constitution says, then the BBL has to pass the test of constitutionality. And I'd like to ask the good sponsor on his, uh, on his position, are we complying with the constitution in the, in, with the Bank Samoro Basic Law, including barangays and municipalities? Or are we, in good conscience, violating the constitution here in the House of Representatives? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned earlier, this is not my own decision. This is the decision of the uh, majority of the members of the three committees as a joint committee. During those uh, discussions, it was mentioned that the uh, autonomous region of Mindanao was uh, created under Republic Act number 6734 and that was still I think in 1989 and uh, during this time uh, the core territories was already identified it was then uh, uh, expanded under Republic Act number 9054 and so here in this uh, in this house bill Mr. Speaker the core territory of the existing arm was just uh, uh, was just uh, adopted, Mr. Speaker. That is why the six municipalities and the 39 barangays were included, Mr. Speaker. And besides, uh, Mr. Speaker, 9054 has been passed, and therefore, it, uh, we presume that it is constitutional. 
Mr. Speaker. The uh, inclusion of the six municipalities as one of the uh, court territory is uh, within the bounds of uh, our law, our constitution, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the answer again to the sponsor. Because if the answer to my question, whether or not including municipalities and barangays, is constitutional, if his answer is, dahil pinasa na natin ang arm and they voted for the plebiscite, then my understanding is, look at the six municipalities of Lano del Norte. Where do they lie? Not in the arm. They still reside with the province of Lano del Norte and under Region 10, Northern Mindanao. So if that is the answer, then to me, parang maleto. But again, if we cannot resolve it here in Congress, let's just have the Supreme Court resolve, resolve it. Uh, and uh, I don't wish to argue with my good friend uh, and a very accommodating chairman of the Joint Committee. Uh, more than likely, your answer is also my answer, but let's just put this on record. This is Countryside News Channel, your official online and cable news channel, giving you the latest information from the province of Lano del Norte, Countryside News Channel.